Well, good evening. I am so excited and I feel so lucky to be here tonight because I get to share a secret with you all. And this is a secret that I've been learning over the past few years of my life. And it started 10 years ago in central France. After a long plane flight across the ocean, a four hour train ride across the country, and then two hours wandering in the snow, in the dark, in a new city, finally I found my new dorm room. And I walked into the registration office and I realized I would have to say my own name in a French accent. That was the first of many changes to come. Now, a foreign language program of study is intense. And um, some of you know this, if you studied another language, many of you are probably bilingual. And, but before you become fluent, before you really can think in that other language, it's absolutely exhausting. Every time someone speaks to you and you try to respond, you're translating every single sentence. And so all of us students got worn out trying to do that every day. And as a result, we started to take breaks. So we would go for walks after class. We would just go kind of wander off to the downtown area to see if there were any free events going on. Um, or we would go up into the hills and see if we could touch the clouds that day. Or we would you know, eventually start extending our range really to find, find new adventure really anything we could do in a day or a half day, uh, we were interested in trying out. And part of it really was this, this sense of adventure. Um, it was a new city for us, but it was also all that we could do. You know, we could hardly speak our native languages or French because we were so exhausted. And so we would just go find something to kind of collectively do together and, and enjoy that instead. Um, Eventually, I went to the flea market and I found an old 10-speed road bike and I bought it for cheap and that was the change of things in France for me. Because when I went there, I was 20 years old, I landed in France and I was going to live in a dorm and go to school and for the first time in six years, I didn't have access to a car. So I was walking everywhere, and then finally I got this bike. And on a bike, I could go three times as far, three times as fast as I could walking. So that really extended my range. I started to find more in my community and really started to, um, really started to enjoy that experience and feel more at home there. When I got back from France, uh, that stuck with me. Despite having access to a car again, I borrowed an old road bike from my dad and started riding to school, riding to my classes, riding to my part-time job. And then again on the weekends or evenings or something, I would just go out and explore Topeka. And the thing that stuck with me in France is that on a bike or walking, you start to get this different perspective of the place you live in. And that was true here, too. I was seeing things in a different way that I hadn't grown up seeing them. And so this was sort of a new, a new change for me. And I didn't realize it. You know, I knew that this was sort of clearing my mind. But what I didn't realize is that I was actually using a scientifically proven method for reducing stress, or improving your heart rate, or improving sleep improving core strength and posture and stability and ultimately personal resilience. I didn't plan on all of these you know, great physical health benefits. I was just going out and exploring and having a good time. And I brought that with, with me when I came back because it, it was a habit that I developed. And that's really the change that happened for me. And it's really part of the secret that I would like to share. 10 minutes. So the first 10 minutes of a walk or a bike ride are the hardest, right? The weather is uncomfortable. Um, you know, maybe something's on your mind and it's sticking with you and kind of grinding on you. 
But if you can get yourself out the door, and if you can just go, if you can just start walking, your body will start to deliver those other benefits that I listed. Your mood starts to improve, whether you want it to or not. Maybe you want to stay mad, but if you're walking, it's tough. <laughs> and you will be amazed at how your mind starts to wander and what you see differently, even in your own city that you think you know well. Once you get past that first 10 minutes, you start to open up to possibilities and your mind will embrace creativity more. And you'll see things in a different way, even though you think you know Topeka. From one perspective, this might look like a parking garage, but from another, it looks like a park. So I urge you to, in the next week, try and take 10 or 15 minutes and see if you can go out and go for a walk or go for a bike ride or go do some sort of physical activity outside that will change your perspective. And I guarantee you'll see something that you didn't expect to see. It's part of this activity and it's really part of why I do what I do. And I promise if you go out there and you look for something different, you won't be bored. Thank you.